Let's now take a quick overview of the interface of Ableton Live. Now I have used a variety of different DAWs and I can say with confidence that this is one of the simplest interfaces out there. What we're looking at here is called the session view. So you can use this view for live performance or even producing a song, making use of Ableton Live's real-time production capabilities. If I go over here to the top right corner and click on this icon, now we've switched to the arrangement view. The arrangement view is the more traditional view. If you've used any other DAW, this might look a bit familiar. So tracks are laid out from top to bottom and time is represented from left to right. If I hit the tab key, I can switch between these two views really quickly. Let's talk about some of the options on the stop bar over here. There's a tap tempo option. So if I want to define a tempo by just tapping, I can do that. Or I can just type in a value here. Time signature can be adjusted here and we can activate the internal metronome by clicking over here. This is the main arrangement transport section. Here you can see the arrangement position in bar, beats and 16 notes. On the left we have the browser. Now there's a lot going on here, so we will talk about this in a bit more detail in a separate tutorial. To the right of it is your main tracks area. So you can see here currently I have two MIDI tracks, two audio tracks, two return tracks, one with a reverb already set up and another one with a delay. And lastly there's the master track over here. Now this is the default template. But in the library, you can see here there's a templates category and you can use any of these templates instead. Now, if you want to make room for more tracks, you can just close out the entire browser by clicking over here. There's a groove pool section, which we can open by clicking over here. We'll talk about this in detail too. This is the info view. Now I would say this is one of the most important views in Ableton Live. So if this is not visible, you can click over here to make sure it's visible. So if I hover my cursor on any parameter on Ableton Live, the info view gives me quick information on what that particular parameter is. So for example, over here, this is called the track activator. So activate this button to hear the track. All right, then we have the detail view over here. This will change depending on what type of track you have selected. So if I select a MIDI track, it says here drop an instrument or sample here. If I select an audio track, it says drop audio effects here. So that is pretty much the interface. Let's quickly talk about packs. Now depending on which version of Live you have purchased, the packs you have access to may vary from the list you're seeing over here. But these are all the packs that I have currently installed on my computer. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I can see additional available packs that I can download. So as long as you've activated Ableton Live, you can directly download any of the available packs from here. Let's try that right now. So let's say I want to download this AAS Entangled Species. So I'll click on the download button here. Oh, it's fairly quick, it's a small file. Hit the install button. The installation process starts. And once the pack is installed, on the right here, we can see some information on this pack. And in the places section under the packs category, we can see that that particular pack has been installed. So that's how you can download and install additional packs directly from the software without having to access Ableton's website. Now this info view for individual packs is very helpful to know exactly what you're getting in a specific pack. Now let's say you've already installed a particular pack and would like to know more about what's included in that live pack. So what you can do is right click a particular pack like Drive and Glow over here and I'm going to select Show Default Lesson. And you can see this little window pops up again and now we have information on this particular pack. This is a great way to get familiar with some of these live packs. Alright, so that's a quick look at the interface of Ableton Live and how to access and install packs.